So usually what happens is that we tend to take all of this stuff very, very, very literally. Like unless um, everybody specifically said that go and kill this man, right? Then nobody has a role to play in it. All of them are exempt and just practicing freedom of speech. And there's this one lone wolf. Like the mosque didn't say to go and kill him. These people didn't say to go and kill him. All they did was they just drummed up a campaign against this guy, saying this is where you can find him, go and protest against him, do all, you know, all that. Um, and all of these things are somehow unnected. And what he's saying, nobody's saying, Armin, that the people from the mosque right, should be tried the same way that this guy is for murder. Right? They're didn't not guilty they shut murder. down the mosque? Didn't they, they shut, did down, shut the down the mosque? mosque. Yeah, they did mm. shut that mosque. For okay. for what? For targeting a school teacher for right. So effectively, the- effectively in the name of defending free speech. Okay, so yeah, even if it's connected, but you can't prove that it's connected. No, that's not har- harassment. Is not free speech. Once you say that, okay, where is the harassment? The target har- 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 so harassment. G- this is a problem, oh. Ali. This is a problem. So basically, you're arguing that. People, so if that, if that's how you're categorizing harassment, then me and my black, uh, so if, if a, what do you think, Ali? Like if a black, let's say in a, in one school in the United States, right? Um, they are now teaching, they're trying to erase the history, like let's say like they're in Texas, the Board School of Education, is trying to remove the history of slavery or they're trying to whitewash it, right? Mm-hmm. And the BLM organizers, public, you know, they say they hate this. They they post the names of the people on the board who are trying to remove this from um, education. They 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 from the from the books, right, from the classes, and then they post the address of the board for people, and they're trying to organize. A campaign, a protest in front of the building that this is being made. This, this decision is being made to go on protest based on your standards of what you're saying. This is har- this could also be categorized as harassment and illegal. Should I shut down that BLM chapter because of they were mm. because they were the, should the government so, yeah, get involved and shut it down? Not just me, according to the law. First of all, if you're taking one person That's- and targeting. If you're taking one person and targeting them, right, and you're saying that there's this person, this administrator in this school who's trying like to do Trump. that. Like yeah, Trump. Okay. Amy, 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 Con- what's her name? Amy Barrett. Trump has Secret Service protection. He's a, you know, he's a administrative official. But what we're saying is, and, you know, you can't say, okay, everybody go to the White House and, you know, do this, do that. There's a distance that you have to stay behind when you're trying to protest, first of all, legally, right? The second thing is that if you're targeting one person, you give the address of the school, that person doesn't have security protection, then they are able to go to the police and say that, look, I'm getting this sort of mass targeting, I'm being targeted for uh, harassment, m- me personally. Um, they Everybody knows where my location is, they're telling them where to find me. I am scared, I find my life in danger. So the police will actually, that is something that is illegal. So you cannot do that. That's targeted. I'm just saying, be careful. Be careful when people are angry. I'm being careful. No, no, hold on. Um, What I'm saying to the audience is when people, when you get angry, okay, that's exactly the best time for people to come out and violate freedoms. Okay, because people are passionate, people are scared, scared and angry. Okay, that is when enlightenment values are at the greatest risk, when people get angry and scared. And you have to when when especially when people who you like are targeted, it's, you know, when it comes to violence and death, and people who are wrong, especially when they are where they were on your side, it's those are the easiest times for you to all of a sudden let go of the enlightenment values that you were supposed to protect in the name in fact you betray them in the name of defending them right it's easy to protect democracy free speech um due process when the people who are benefiting from the from protecting those values are on your side okay when people go after ex-muslims or they go after atheists right when they violate their rights when they shut them down if they're on your side 
it's easy to defend enlightenment values at those, at those times, right? But all, when they go after the rights of the people who are not in your camp, especially if right after somebody associated with their group did something vile and disgusting, then you, that's when you're being tested to see if you're actually on the side of enlightenment values or not, right? Yeah, that, that's, whatever the, that's irrelevant. Whatever the, right, whatever the right answer is, I'm not saying maybe, you know, Ali, mm. you may be right or wrong. What, whatever the right answer is and what the right measure is, I'm just saying be careful when you're angry. Be yeah. careful when you're scared to not to, be, so not I, to betray these values. But go on. I, I think we know that. But like, so let's just do what I'll, I'll talk about U.S. law. OK, so in U.S. law, there was a case against the Westboro Baptist Church. Remember the Westboro Baptist Church? You know, the people who went to picket the funerals of soldiers and they had signs that says uh, that said God hates. Well, I can't I'm not going to say it, but uh, it was a derogatory term for gay people. Um, and, you know, all these like the horrible things and they would go and pick at the funerals of, of American soldiers that went to the Supreme court. Um, and the Supreme court ruled eight to one, right. That they should be allowed to protest. They should be allowed to protest the funerals, but it has to be at a distance, right? You can't do targeted. You can, you can't target a single person and harass them and go to their place of business, their place of work, anything, even if you're going to protest, you'll see whenever you see these protests, there has to be a, uh, a distance that is maintained. So if the business is operating or the school is operating, it should not interfere with the operations of the school. You can't go and forcibly shut down the school. Yeah, but this mosque hasn't even planned, like we didn't even see what their action was. They were they're just, uh, we they were just saying like, yeah, so we if didn't someone even know. Look it up. Can someone look it up? I don't know, Susanna, if you can find out like what this mosque actually said and what kind of videos they shared. Um, I would do it. They, we're not doing this live. They, sh like, they shared. Know. They shared the card. Well, I mean, they mentioned the cartoons. They posted. They mentioned the address of the school. They. They. You know. They, mentioned the they teacher. Think, mentioned the, mentioned teacher. the teacher. Yeah, obviously. So but that changes a lot was, of things. The key thing is that they didn't do any death threats. That's what uh, the key thing. Uh, uh, but that's what I'm trying to say. The point over here isn't that every person who is yeah, doing but even if you're right, yeah, yeah, I, you make that point, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, but the thing is that if somebody is doing hint, hint. Okay, first of all, I don't know if they were actually trying to be responsible for the death of the teacher and they were hiding it. That's a major accusation. Okay, that is a major accusation. But even if it's true. OK, then what you can do is you like the response to that shouldn't be something because given though, given that they didn't do anything illegal. OK, let's say, for example, Ali, somebody comes and spreads some ideas that is eventually leads to my death. Mm -hmm. OK, but and we know that that kind of saying those things leads to my death. OK, and we know that if anybody reasonable knew that it could have that saying those things increases risks on me. But they did all of those things without violating any laws. They didn't do a direct death threat against me. They didn't do any doxing against me, okay? Everything they did was within, you know, within the boundaries of reasonable laws, right? Yeah, that, that's the um, MO that people like us, like me, in, enlightenment people fall me, for, right? And we get Let me finish, by. let me finish. Yeah. Um, the thing is that I'm not saying they didn't do anything wrong. So we will only be falling for that. We would be duped by it if we don't see the problem. Okay. But again, the government, but if they did everything within the bounds of the law, then the government has no authority to come out and stop them. There is nothing mm -hmm. like we like there is one thing for you to say this was wrong. We condemn it. Here's the problem. We need to find a solution. I'm not saying you can't do those things. You can do those things. Right. But if they op operated within the boundaries of the law, then the government is overstepping if they come out and take an action against them. Yeah, so, uh, me saying the government cannot come and shut this mosque down is not the same as me saying they didn't do anything wrong. Not everything that is wrong gives the government the authority to come and take an action against it unless they already predetermined that by passing a law against it. 
Do you see what I'm saying? Are you looking at? Yeah, I else? see. I see what you're saying, but I don't. I don't know if uh, I. I don't know how relevant it is. Like this whole idea. Okay, well, I'm doing all of these things, but I'm not breaking the law. Like that's not the conversation here. I feel. I feel like we're talking having a completely different conversation. It should be the. I mean, the mosque was shut down. This I know. should be a conversation. Yeah, and it was a temporary shutdown of the mosque okay. while they're investigating what actually happened. So there are other things that happened as well. Um, there was also, uh, there's a uh, a group and there was a preacher who actually issued a fatwa against this. Another student, uh, the student's father uh, was 48 years old. And yeah, they issued the fatwa against him. Um, so there were several different elements in this. And while they're doing this, right? they have a temporary order on shutting down the mosque. And I think that's perfectly reasonable because they're investigating it. They want to know what happened, just like we're investigating it. And so I, I don't I don't think uh, that all of this, I mean, people get away with things by saying, hey, you know, what I did wasn't illegal. Uh, th that's what they do. And that's so. Yeah, and what's the solution to to arrest people who didn't do anything illegal or to shut them down that didn't like? I didn't. Uh, well, I mean, the, look, what's the solution? Uh, Armin, if we were both in law enforcement, okay, and we were part of the investigation, we're doing that, we would have to take a very, very agnostic and a very critical approach to everything, like we are. But we're not. You know, we host a podcast. We're talking about the overall system, right? Yeah, that allows these also, things to happen, enables yeah, these things to happen. Okay, so. Yeah. So what, let me let me say this. Yeah, so yeah, you know, so what's happening is that there was this 18 year old kid who killed him, right? Um, mm -hmm. Around that, there was this 48 year old father who was texting this guy. Okay, there was a mosque that was uh, telling everybody to go and target him. Uh, there was a um, this other father of the daughter of the girl. I think that might be the same guy it was the saying saying the same thing. This is uh, uh, going online and actually doing what is legally considered harassment, singling out a single person, talking about a place of people to intercept it. So all of those things, they play into it. Yes, did all of them hold a knife to his throat? No. Did they, all of them say that they, someone should hold a knife to his throat? Probably not. Uh, did someone issue a fatwa against it? Yes. All of these things work together. When you're talking about um, how things happen, and all of the and the stuff that you know, not only what actually happened and the perpetrator and what they do, you're also talking about all of the other factors that enable it. Okay, right, so Ali, for 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 instance, right? Just let me give another example. Can you can before you give another example, can I respond to this? Okay, go ahead. Don't make sure you take notes so you don't forget your example. Okay. Okay. okay uh, yeah. But you're responding to something that I didn't say. You know, you you guys, this is this is traumatic, right? Because Again, I made it very clear that I'm not saying that there are, these elements do not play into it, right? And what I'm saying is just because they play into it, that doesn't mean the government can come and just ban everything that is plays into this, right? You, you know what else plays into this? What? The Quran plays into this. The Quran is definitely plays into this. Mm -hmm. You think if it's, all right? So what, do you, what, do you, what are you suggesting? Are you suggesting that we should ban the Quran, right? So me worrying about government. Uh, 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 hold on. No, let, let, me, me let, me, let me let me let me. There's let me another straw man here. No, sorry, sorry. Let me no, clear no, no, it no. up. No, no, no. I was. I didn't say that. You say that. I was coming okay, up with okay. an example. Okay, so it's okay. not a straw man. I was just giving you an example. Right. I didn't say you're suggesting that we should ban the Quran. But I'm just. What I'm saying is that me worrying about government overreach and me worrying about authorities betraying enlightenment values is not a denial of the other elements that could have been playing into this right but there's all sorts of government overreach that could be justified if we want to if saying using the phrase well this plays into this this plays into this there's an astronomical number of things that i could come up with that it plays into this right and if playing into this all of a sudden is becomes an excuse for the government banning stuff then there's there's no limit to what the government can ban but go on yeah, no, no, no. We're not just talking about all of the societal factors and everything plays into it. But when we are talking about it here, I'm not talking about bans. I'm not talking about shutting down things. I'm talking about an acknowledgement of a systemic issue, right? And how different gears in that systemic issue work together to result in certain outcomes. Okay. So when we talk about, like, you know, you're, you're talking about poverty. We're saying that you know this guy could have psychological problems. 
He could have struggled with oppression as a refugee. Uh, he had all of these factors matter. The factor that he subscribed to an ideology that actually endorses behavior like this, mm. right? That endorses punishing people for blasphemy, right? All of these things, all of these factors, yes, they do play into it. Over here in the context of this, that's what we're talking about. There are law enforcement people, I know, let me finish. There's okay. law enforcement people, okay, that will deal with what you're talking about. Like who did the actual knife cutting and the, the actual beheading? And uh, should we investigate all of these other institutions that may have been involved, like this mosque? Should we temporarily shut them down while we investigate? So there, that's what law enforcement does. Okay. Then there are politicians like Emmanuel Macron, right? and he will talk about how you know we need to change the way that we we uh, we have schools, the way that we instill our values in our kids in schools. We want to stop the homeschooling thing. Those are the, the initiative. We have to stop foreign funding of mosques. So that's his initiative. Then there are people who actually talk about this like us. There are commentators who zoom out, who look at the big picture, and they say, well, these are all of the elements that are going into it. You know, For example, Noam Chomsky does that with foreign policy. He's like, these are the problems with foreign policy. This is how it's resulting in these long-term effects, and these are the effects that it has on different kinds of communities and different people, and this is how it's connected to the ideology. So there's... We are talking about this at different levels. You're talking about it from the strictly law enforcement kind of level, right? It's like the uh, yeah. the conversation. But they don't contradict it, Ali. They don't contradict each other. I don't I, understand. I, I, how I'm you trying don't get to tell this. you that they don't contradict each other. I'm telling you. Yeah. That. So that's my entire point. So why why is this being a response to me, right? Because it's a, no, it's a response to you because you were having this conversation and you're talking no, about the law enforcement. But my response. And we all agree on that. No, no. But my point is that people are violate might be okay violating some other people's right with it because of this event that happened okay this might be happening i mm -hmm. need to look into it more okay and in response to that people are telling me that i mean what they said and did might have played into this horrible action that is that is being taken and like okay yeah but what you're saying it doesn't contradict my point that their rights could be, be be violated is there maybe the rights are being violated and this is a danger for enlightenment values and you yourself are saying these two things can be true at the same time so mm -hmm. if they could be true at the same time if they if one could be playing to into the other one and uh, my point hold on and my uh, point that their rights are being violated could also be true then why is it that in response to me saying their rights could be are being violated somebody said then the response is well this played into the other one you yourself is are uh, are admitting that mm -hmm. both of these could be true so no. then it, it's not a fair response to me no, not what i said I, I didn't say i don't agree that anybody's rights are being violated i actually don't think that they are no, at all. it could but that's not what i'm okay. saying I'm saying that law enforcement is cracking down on things. I think that they're doing it appropriately. So Susanna has a comment here saying, Gabriel Atal, a government spokesman said, those who participated in the public lynching of this teacher on social media are in some way also responsible for what happened. Mm -hmm. um, she's saying she disagrees with it. I actually agree with that because you know, you're not saying that they're mm -hmm. guilty of what happened. They're not, you're not saying they should be tried. They should be held accountable for what happened. You're saying they're responsible. And responsible but is a broad term. And I think that they are responsible for it. Right? It's like saying be, this is being used to justify a level of crackdown that I might, I'm again, I have to look at the level of crackdown, but it might be it might be just we I think it's is OK for us. I think it's justified for us to be worried about the backlash. Mm -hmm. Right. I think it justifies for us to be concerned, to have our guard, to be skeptical, to have our guards up but like. Yes, like we condemn the act and we look at it and we investigate what what happened. We look at all the elements that it was involved in making something like this possible, which is obviously Islam is like 90 percent of it. Right. Um, we, we do all of those things, but we also also have to be concerned about the backlash not becoming something that is also a violation of freedom of expression that is also not a violation of enlightenment values because that usually happens when people get angry when people get defensive when people get scared that usually is what follows okay and because that's usually what follows then we need to like look at these things and be vigilant and be like make sure that we are guarding enlightenment values on all sides